Hey guys, it's me Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another round, or I guess round two, of testing out frozen food from the Dollar Tree. There's a wide selection of food you can find in the freezer department. I mean, even all over the store. So this time is another round of kind of like the similar items, i.e. snacks or meals. And then I'm thinking that next time I might do breakfast and desserts that are in the freezer department. I don't know. I saw a lot of stuff that was kind of like, hmm, is that good? <laughs> So I got seven items this time, two by really huge popular demand. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to show you all of them. And instead of cooking everything at once, I might do like three items and like three items instead of like having like a crazy town. Paco is not here. He's downstairs with daddy because when it comes to food, we know he'd be like right here. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm just going to show you everything. Now I'm not sure what order I'm going to cook it all in, but I'm going to show you everything. So now we got Pierre's boneless pork riblets. Heat frozen, fully cooked. There seems to be an okay amount in here. I mean, we're gonna cook them, so let's take a look. That's what we're working with. Looks kind of like just barbecued chicken nuggets, but it says they're riblets. I'm gonna kind of follow, kind of, I'm hoping some of these things will need to go in the air fryer instead of all the microwave. I might try to put them in the oven. What does this one say? Did I break it that spot? Keep frozen. Two minutes in the microwave. Two minutes in the microwave. So we got that. We're going to test out. I also picked up another one of the fast bites. Now keep in mind, all these items are a dollar and all these are at my Dollar Tree. You might not have all these items at your Dollar Tree. I know everyone has something different. So I got the grilled chicken sandwich. 17 grams of protein. This one also supposed to go in the microwave for 70-75 seconds and then rest for 15 seconds afterwards. But grilled? I mean, it could be good. Frame broiled chicken patty with rib meat and cheese. And cheese on a bun. Okay. <laughs> Next, I got these popcorn chickens. And these are the brand of them. Fully cooked by Koch Foods. This is about the amount that you're going to get for a dollar. Which really isn't that bad for a dollar. I mean, this would be... It could be a dinner for someone if you have this and maybe like a vegetable. That's a dinner. But I, it's crazy how they put such a big bag, but they could have made like a little bag like this to make you think you're getting a lot more. This one says you can do it in the microwave for 45 to 50 seconds or in the oven at 425 for 9 to 11 minutes. So let's see what else needs to go in the oven. Maybe this one can put in the oven too. Then, by huge demand, Jennifer's Gardens Spring Rolls. You guys, a bunch of you, told me how these are so delicious and that they're amazing. You get 10. 10 spring rolls inside of here. And this, a little is two minutes. So this one has 10 pieces in it. You can either put it in the microwave for two minutes. You can pan fry it for four, and a, four to five minutes or in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes, turning once. I'll probably put it in the oven, get the best results. And then also some of you guys said to get an egg roll. So I got an egg roll. It was also a dollar. I got the pork one. I think they had two other different kinds you could choose from. But I got the pork one. Sauce packet included. Fully cooked to heat and serve. This one says conventional oven put in for 45 seconds preheat 400. 45 seconds. Put in the microwave 45 seconds. Uh, if you put it in the oven, it's seven minutes. Okay. I feel like put a bunch of these in the oven. So I got that. And since that mac and cheese one was so good. I mean, I'm talking about like so good. This is the only other one they had in that Main Street kitchen that was up there. So it's the three cheese um, ziti with meat sauce. I thought I'd give it a try because the other one was so good that maybe all the stuff from this brand are good. I don't know. And then lastly, I got a Jamaican style mild beef patty. I actually had an ex-boyfriend who used to love these Jamaican beef patties. Never had one. Never had one. Because he would get the spicy ones and we all know that I don't like spicy. So I didn't know they had a mild. They had a few different flavors in this one. This one was sitting up top, like above the other ones, like separated, and it was only like two left. So I'm thinking it's like a yummy one because they sold out more. <laughs> I could be wrong. Microwave, this one will go two minutes. And that is the only information they give you. They do not give you put in the oven. This gives you microwave. So we got a couple that we're definitely going to microwave. You're going to put in the oven. Maybe I can like microwave, put, nope. 
I'll figure it out. All right, next time we'll come back, we're going to test maybe like three or four of these. All right, so I am back, and I decided to do all the microwave stuff first, and then the other, I'm heating up, preheat the oven right now. So first things first, let me take the wrapper off, keep it warm. This is the main street. Doesn't really look exactly like the picture, but when does it ever? When do you ever open up a microwave meal and it looks as glorious as the picture did? I mean, actually, their other one with that with that mac and cheese and bacon, that was pretty good. A lot of steam. You see all that? I mean, this one cooked for like two minutes and then you had to like mix it up and then two more minutes later. How hot. I mean, it's not awful. Would I rather cook my own pasta? For sure. <laughs> but if you're in a bind and you're craving some pasta, I mean, for probably $2, you could go buy a pound of pasta at the Dollar Tree and a sauce and make seven times the amount of this. <laughs> yes, you wouldn't have meat in it. But still. And also, everything that's left over here, I'm going to be eating for dinner. So nothing will go to waste unless it's awful, but nothing will be going to waste. I mean, it's not bad. Obviously, being Italian, I've had better pasta. <laughs> but, but what you could expect. This is just tea. Alright, what's next? I guess let's try... So here, right here, is the um, grilled chicken sandwich. I did exactly what it said. I wrapped it in paper towel. I mean, it does look like a grilled piece of chicken. I like the fact that it has cheese on it. This one is not bad. The chicken's a little bit chewy. But I would eat this one way over that last one I tried, that like McRib S one. It's actually pretty satisfying. Hmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> I know you guys said you can get this stuff at Walmart too. Is it a dollar at Walmart? Like, I don't usually shop that much in the freezer department to buy stuff like this. I might get frozen veggies. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Another drink. My palate's gonna like go on a, on a trip. <laughs> So now we're about to go to Jamaica. <laughs> so now we got this right here, the Jamaican beef patty. I've never had one before. This cooked two minutes in the microwave. Let's just... Oh, so flaky. Let me put the plate underneath it. So I don't make a mess. We'll just break it in half. Or ish. Oh, all on the floor. <laughs> so it looks like this. It looks almost like, I don't know, like beef puree. Like it's all, it looks more like a paste than like beef beef. Oh, the crumbs. Hot. Oh, it's so hot. Temperature, not spice. That's different. This is like really, really like flaky, but like heavy. I can see you eating one of these things and being full. It's so hot. That makes sense. So I finished that one all except for like the end part right here. That was pretty good. Different. It wasn't what I was expecting. It wasn't, I wasn't expecting like a, I don't know, like more pasty type material substance in the middle than actual like ground beef I was expecting. And now for our last of the items of the microwave, here are our little pork riblets. I dropped a little of the Jamaican beef patty in there. <laughs> so we got some pork riblets. Oh, 
I mean, I doubt they're really ribs. I mean, it's not bad. I already this in a bind. Serving size, one tray, 400 calories, 30 grams of fat, that's a lot. 16 carbohydrates, oof. 15 grams of protein. Hmm. I mean, in a bind, you need some meat. It'll work. Let me eat one more. Then we got our whole cooking time downstairs. I gotta figure out when to put each one in so they all cook it down at the same time. It is glistening. I don't know my favorite so far. I almost wanna say the chicken sandwich. That's was pretty good. And that Jamaican peep fatty was different too. This would probably be third. And this would probably be fourth so far. I'm going to bring all this downstairs and then get to cooking the other stuff and then we'll come back on up and taste the others. So now my oven cooking is over for the last three items. So I did cook all of the chicken bites, chicken nuggets. So you can see actually how many there actually are. Let's try one out. That's what it looks like. I mean, obviously a chicken nugget is a chicken nugget. This one's a little, like, spongy <laughs> feeling, but it doesn't look like all white meat chicken, even though it said red meat. Obviously, I would never eat a chicken nugget or chicken bite without dipping it. But I'm trying to just, like, taste as is, because if you dunk like this in ketchup, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, ranch, it pretty much just tastes like that with like a chicken background. <laughs> they didn't get as crispy as I wanted them to. I should have probably did this and the egg roll in the air fryer. But I chose the, the oven because it said to put in the oven. But I, I think it would become much crispier if I'd done it in the air fryer. Next we got everybody's favorite, the spring roll. There's 10 in there. I just cooked three because it said three were um, the serving size. I didn't even bring the things up to show you the pictures. It is what it is. So, so here is the spring roll. I saved the rest in a Ziploc, I mean 10. That's pretty good. That's good. I'm not going to say it's like the caliber of getting a spring roll at a Chinese restaurant, but it's not a lot. I mean, the egg roll came with this. Let's dip down there. Mm. That's another item I usually will be dipping. If I'm gonna, If I'm going to eat it, I'm going to be dipping it. This one I should have definitely, here's the whole egg roll. I should have definitely air fried it. If I cooked it like it said, then it still wasn't like crispy enough. So then I put it underneath the broiler for a bunch of time. It was a lot going on down there. <laughs> Let me put this down. And here is the egg roll. I cut it in half. I know a few of you guys said that you liked it. So I figured I would try it. It's probably going to be really hot. Huh. That's not bad. And this was the pork one. Yeah. I mean, it's actually bigger than like, I think like an egg roll you would get at a Chinese restaurant. A little bit of sauce. Hot. I don't usually eat lunch, 
So I'm already full. And I've got a lot left over for dinner. I probably shouldn't have cooked all those chicken nuggets, but I want you to see them all so you can see how many were actually in the thing. Ooh, this isn't bad. So, out of everything. I'm happy about these spring rolls. Knowing about this, that's a, that's a wonderful thing to know because me and Rob used to get these things, uh, these lumpias, at this Filipino store. And you got a bunch of them for, for a decent amount of money. And they're filled with meat. But these will be handy for ever having like an Asian meal or just want a little snack. I mean, 10? I figure I could, I could eat three of those, like I said, a three serving and be a nice little snack. I like the chicken, the grilled chicken sandwich. I like the Jamaican beef patty, different, but I liked it. Chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. Those riblets were okay. I probably guess the, the, my least favorite would be that pasta. Yeah, I think the least favorite would be the pasta. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said, next time, if I, if, I'm not gonna say if, when I, next time, I think I'm gonna do freezer section, um, breakfast, and desserts. Because I saw some like, ice cream there and I'm like ice cream for a dollar like those pint little ones for a dollar and I was like man you can get like Ben and Jerry's that's like four or six dollars it's a lot of money for my ice cream I've had this newfound love for ice cream lately especially um cookies and cream I've had ice cream forever I used to always think like coffee was my favorite and I do like coffee but something about the cookie and cream it's doing me good <laughs> so if you like this video Give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, could today be that day? I think it could be. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.